What's going on, you guys? I'm gonna be giving you a full guide for how to get a girlfriend in 2024. These are the strategies that are proven to work that have worked for me and my clients. So if you're sitting alone on the couch, feeling lonely, maybe you're swiping through your dating apps, looking at the matches that you have, or maybe the matches that you don't have, and you're wondering, are any of these girls even worth going out with? Or maybe you were at the bar and you approached some women and you know, maybe you hooked up with a couple of them or didn't hook up with any of them and it kind of went into nothing. Okay, I'm gonna be giving you stuff that actually works. If you're the guy that just wants to bang a ton of chicks, I have plenty of videos on that, nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of information on my channel for that, but this is for the guys that are looking for a real relationship because I have coached hundreds of guys out there personally into a relationship. I myself have dated a lot of women and I am currently now in a relationship, a loving relationship, for the last four years. So we're gonna get right into it with step number one. The first step is getting out of the house. You gotta get out of the house. If you're sitting on the couch right now, just scrolling through dating apps, this is not the way to get a girlfriend in 2024, okay? You need to get out of the house and you need to start joining activities, okay? What I mean by activities is I mean things that you can do with other people. These are probably gonna be things that you already enjoy doing. I'll give you an example. Uh, a client I had a while ago was wondering, hey Lloyd, you know, I wanna meet more women. And I'm like, well, what are you doing right now? He goes, well, I'm, you know, scrolling through Hinge and, you know, I've gone out with a few girls, but, you know, they're not really like girls that I'm really interested in. It hasn't really gone anywhere. And I'm like, well, cool. Are you meeting women in real life? And he's like, no. So I'm like, okay, you need to get off your ass get out there and start meeting women. He goes, well, I don't want a cold approach. I'm like, perfect. I don't want you to cold approach either. By the way, there's nothing wrong with cold approach. Love cold approach. You're at some point gonna have to talk to her. But in his case, he's a very nervous, introverted guy. So I said, I want you to write down some of the things that you enjoy doing. So he made a list. And at the top of the list was he really enjoyed like nerdy stuff, like, uh, or I should say geeky stuff, like Dungeons and Dragons. And I'm like, cool. Have you ever heard of a LARP? He goes, live action role play. I go, yes, where people dress up in like, you know, fake armor and rubber swords and they go out there and they attack people. He goes, yeah, I've actually kind of wanted to do that. And I'm like, perfect. There's a LARP event that I know about that I know you'd love. So he goes to this LARP event. He starts going there a few times. He sees a girl that he kind of likes that he thought was pretty cute. He gets up closer to her. She's even better looking in real life. They do this battle. He ends up attacking her and like, you know, <laughs> killing her a few times during the battle. They eventually start talking afterwards. And eventually that girl became his girlfriend. And guess what they do every single weekend? They go to LARP events. They do geeky, nerdy shit together. Okay, it's a perfect relationship for him. This is exactly what he was looking for. And he did it by doing activities with the stuff that he liked to do. If he was gonna go out to a bar, do you think he would have met this girl? No, she wouldn't even been at a bar. You think he would have met her on a dating app? No, she actually, had, you know, she had her settings filtered in a way that she, he never would have popped up on her dating app profile. So if you're looking for someone, the best way to go meeting a girlfriend not someone to just hook up with casually, is through activity. So what I want you to do right now is write down a list. Give me five things that you enjoy doing that you can do with groups of other people. If you need some ideas, we have co-ed sports, we have group fitness classes, we have running clubs, or we have language exchanges, we have uh, you know cultural uh, groups as well too. I have a full freaking list on my free school group that you can check out. If you go into my uh, the bottom of my page, it's a free school group. I have a whole list of stuff like that. There's plenty of guys that are going out there that are changing their lives there, okay? So if you wanna get go there, but right now I want you to pause the video and write down five things that you can start doing, activities that you can meet other groups of people in. Cool, now that you've written those five things, we're gonna go to step two, which is you need to talk to people within those groups. You need to start approaching people and talking to people within the areas that you've created. You've created a lot of different tribes and groups that you go into, and you're gonna start talking to people there. Now, if you're nervous to talk to people, that's understandable. Most people are nervous to talk to people, especially when you first get there, you're like, Ugh, I don't know what to do. So what you wanna do is you wanna get good at talking to new people. And you wanna approach and talk to people without expectation. That's the key thing here, that's the point. 
Approach people without expectation. So the assignment that I want you to start doing is I want you to start talking to people that you normally wouldn't talk to. This is gonna be maybe an older woman. Um, maybe there's a guy there, or, or maybe there's just somebody who you just generally wouldn't think that you would be able to associate with or be able to get along with, all right? But I want you to start conversations with them. The reason why I want you to do this is because when I say you approach without expectation, that is the biggest impediment to action that a lot of guys have. If I tell them to talk to a super hot girl, what tends to happen is they get very, very nervous because they have expectations on it. They want something from that interaction. What you wanna do is you wanna start talking to people without being outcome dependent on what happens, okay? You basically have the conversation and you don't care what happens. Maybe they're busy, maybe they're not friendly to you, or maybe they're super friendly to you. Either way, you walk away from that not feeling either really good or really bad. So I want you to practice that. If you learn how to actually approach and talk to people without expectation, then when you see that hot girl, then when you see that person you're really attracted to, then you're actually gonna be able to do it, okay? It's like a muscle. If you never work it, then when you just suddenly see the girl that you're attracted to, you're like, time to turn it on, then it, it doesn't work that way. You know, I coach guys for years. If you do this, then you're gonna be more likely to talk to that person. Cool, so the assignment for this is to talk to three new people next week that you wouldn't normally talk to. Now we're going to step number three, which is gonna be notice women that choose you. Okay, when you're looking for a girlfriend, you want her to choose you before you start asking her out on dates. So typically what's gonna happen is you're gonna notice women that are hanging around you a lot in these group activities. You're gonna notice women that are spending a lot of time with you, or maybe when you talk to them, they're like kind of following you around. Let's say you were at a networking event or, or some social event that you go to consistently, and you notice that when you go to the bar and you invite her, she comes with and she leaves her friends right? She comes up and talks to you, right? This is going to be somebody who consistently, if she does this, is choosing you. She's choosing to spend time with you, okay? Time is not something that people get back. And if she's choosing to spend it with you and choosing to follow you, then you've established some sort of man-woman connection. And then you can transfer that to inviting her out to a separate thing or even a date. Now, I know what you're thinking. What if I go to these events? What if I go to these groups and no one is choosing me, okay? What I want you to start doing is becoming more involved in the group, okay? When you first join a group, you're typically not gonna be your most attractive self. You're typically, like if you join a, a beginner salsa class, you don't know the steps. You don't know what to do. But once you get to the intermediate level, and by the way, if you get to intermediate salsa, it's almost all women. And it's almost all attractive women who know how to dance. And there's so few guys there that now that you're an established presence in there, when a new girl comes in, she's like it's very likely that she's going to be giving you choosing signals because you're showing competency, you're showing confidence, you're showing a, a position of authority. There's so many attractive qualities to yourself that women are naturally going to start choosing you. And one of the women that starts choosing you should be a woman that you take it to the next stage with. You invite her to do something outside. It could be like, you know, maybe another event that you're going to, or if you feel pretty strongly about it, it could be a date. To illustrate this further, I have an example of this. I was in Thailand when I was doing these like uh, bar tours. So, and before I was just one of the guys that was in the tour and people were traveling around and you'd hop to different bars and stuff like that. And I didn't really get much attention from women. Maybe occasionally I get a girl who liked me, but they weren't really women that I really liked. Once I started running the bar crawl, once I started doing the tour and being the person who was leading it, I was getting choosing signals from all over the place. Like women were picking me constantly. And at the end of the night, it was basically, who did I want to go home with that night? Now that's for the hooking up example. But when it comes to an example of you actually meeting a woman in a group that you want to get your girlfriend, you know, it's not going to be a hookup that night. It's probably you're just going to see you're doing this consistently. And then you transfer that to a date. You transfer that to a, a meeting in person uh, or some event outside of the group that you're in currently. This brings me to step number four, which is your first date. Okay, typically a first date that you're going to do with a potential girlfriend, you want to do it in a low pressure environment. This is just where you can hang out. Again, she's chosen you already. So the date should go pretty well. It's going to go a lot better than it would if you just picked her up at a bar or met her off of a dating app. My recommendation for doing the date is to pick like two to three different places to go to. And when things go well at the first place, you bounce to the second place, you bounce to the third place. Okay. And you're leading her through this. You're establishing 
establishing a man to woman connection and you're showing her, hey, I know we just talk and have fun at this group events, but here is how I'm going to treat you as my potential girlfriend, as someone that I am dating, okay? So you're gonna be more interested in what she has to say. You're gonna show how you're gonna take care of her. You're gonna show that you can um, you know, do the gentlemanly thing. So make sure that you do all of those things and that is gonna set the precedent that, hey, you know, I'm looking to actually date you. Now, after the date, what I want you to do is you don't wanna to be too eager, but you do wanna message her after, making sure she got home okay, and then you're probably gonna be messaging her excited to meet her up at their group event or excited to do the next thing that you guys have planned. That's typically the uh, flow that you wanna be going through because a lot of guys, you know, they get too eager or maybe they try and play it too cool and don't text at all. So you don't have to text her a whole lot, but you do want to be messaging with her after, but not pressuring her to hang out with you again or you know, really looking for the message. Uh, and I have a general flow that, that you can check on my school group, which is not quite released yet, but it'll be up there soon. This brings us to step number five, which is after that first date has happened and you have some communication after that, you're going to be going on a second date all the way to eventually you guys start a relationship. Now, the time frame between that second date and a relationship varies between person to person. There is no strict rule that you have to have this many dates before it's a girlfriend. But generally, on average, what I see is it's usually a couple of months of going on dates with that person once a week. Now, after about a month of going on dates for once a week, you can maybe ramp it up to seeing each other a couple times a week um, and increase the frequency that you're seeing each other. But you don't want to see each other more than once a week, typically within the first few dates. That's typically going to overwhelm somebody. Now, I've seen exceptions to the rule with everything, but in general, that's kind of like the format that I would go by. You know, you don't want to be seeing her too much because then you want her to miss you. You want her to have time to relax. You don't want her to feel pressured. All of those things is the natural flow for getting into a relationship, okay? Typically, when guys are desperate for a girlfriend, they want to see them constantly. They're texting them constantly. They don't operate under this flow. When you do that naturally, this is what's going to happen. For instance, with my uh, LARP guy, you know, he was doing the LARP, and he would basically go on one date a week with this girl. They would occasionally see each other at the LARP events. They would have a lot to talk about on the dates. They would have a lot to text about because they were doing the same activities together. So the flow is very natural, okay? And I advised him not to see her multiple times for dates during the week and I would just have them do one date and then she, they would occasionally see each other and look forward to the next LARP event that they were going to and then eventually they started seeing each other multiple times a week and then now they're boyfriend and girlfriend and they still do the LARP event. It transitioned very smoothly from meeting and being friends and hanging out to eventually girlfriend and boyfriend, okay? The only thing that changed was the frequency they're hanging out, the affection they give each other, and obviously they're being intimate with each other. Now you're probably wondering, when do I make this official? When do I ask her to be my girlfriend? Now I wouldn't recommend that you ask this person to be your girlfriend. When you're in this flow and it's working well, she's going to kind of assume that you guys are in a relationship because you are. What you wanna do is you wanna start acting like her boyfriend. You wanna start acting like the guy that's taking special care of her. What women are looking for in a relationship, more than men are, is they're looking for security. You provide her that security. You provide her the emotional security, which is the, well, typically the more important one these days, but also physical security too. Uh, you provide her those things, and you almost don't even have to ask. You can probably just start calling her your girlfriend, but if you wanna be formal about it, you absolutely can ask. I don't know what the correct amount for each person is, but I generally recommend after a few months of dating, maybe three months of dating, if it's going really well and you're going by this format, I think it's totally fine to ask someone to be your girlfriend at around that point. And you should be pretty sure that she's going to say yes when you ask. If you focus on these five, typically within six months, that's six months is the amount of time that I see it takes from them starting this process to when they get a girlfriend. So if somebody starts my program, they'll typically get a girlfriend in around six months. And that's the time frame that I would expect would happen to you if you went by this process exactly the way that I described it. So if you're looking to get help with that, my recommendation is to message me through my application. Okay, so fill out the application form for coaching. It's getcoachedbyloyd.com. There's a link in the description box below. Fill out the form 
and we'll hop on a call. Me or somebody from my team, what happen is we'll craft a life customized just for you and we'll make sure that you're going through the steps correctly and you'll have me to personally help you along the way. Now, if you don't wanna pay money and you just wanna keep doing the free stuff, I have a free school group that you can subscribe to. If you go down below, there's a link to it. There's a groups of guys there, there's wingmen there, there's people doing all of this stuff and I have more instructions about how to do this, including a list of places that you can meet women through. All right, so now that I've gotten that out of the way, I just wanna say one thing. You know, me personally, it, these are the steps that I went through to get myself a girlfriend and keep myself a girlfriend. You know, this is not just getting somebody in your life and then your life will be fixed. This is actually creating a life for yourself that somebody wants to be a part of. And that's the real key difference here. And let me tell you something, when you do this, if you do it correctly, your life is gonna be that much better. And then the girlfriend will be a cherry on top that you have. And typically I find that when guys get themselves a girlfriend, like there's a huge benefit to it. You know, you have someone to share your life with, you know, it's four years that I've been with my girlfriend now. I know this channel has been called The Single Guy, but you know, when I first started this, I was having fun dating a lot of different people. Uh, but being in relationships is hugely beneficial. And I hope that you guys can follow these steps and get one yourself. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you all doing it. Thanks so much, you guys. Good luck out there.